Okay, let's jump into the third story. Um, because, well, there's going to be a few stories today, guys, and I, apparently I can't stream. So it's all interesting as in, oh, my God, oh, my God. But let's jump into it. So apparently, uh, news information for you, uh, Trump's approval rating currently highest ever, and it stuns the MSNBC. I, I, I wonder why the MSNBC is shocked that Trump's approval ratings are higher than ever. It's like all these smear campaigns they've been using don't seem to work on Trump. It's that's weird, that isn't it? I, I don't Who know. Did screaming and crying like children wouldn't work out for you. Hmm. Yes, but anyway, let's keep going with the story. Um. So President Trump's approval ratings jumped to forty-five percent of the highest it's been throughout his pre uh, presidency presidency, according to a new poll released by the Wall Street Journal and MSNBC. Now, look at the end of the day. Obviously, it's a poll, so you know, take it with a grain of salt. But let's keep going. The poll left an MSNBC panel shocked Sunday night by the improvement. President Trump has shown throughout his campaign and polling what I, uh, what I took away from the 2016 election is American people authenticity, said David, uh, sorry, Kevin McLaughlin of Cogent Strategies Principle. Quote, may not like what authenticity is, what he is saying or how he is doing it, but he doesn't back down from it. When he goes out and he does these events, I would call them he's actually helping him in flyover countries. Um, so yeah, from my understanding, what they're saying there is that Trump is authentic. Trump is basically giving the people what they really want, which is someone who is authentic. Um, I, I don't know. What, what are your thoughts, guys? Do you think that Trump is authentic when he does these, these sort of flyover tours or? Of course he That's is. One of the he, he's, yeah, he's visiting mm -hmm. his constituents and. Yeah. You know, his voter base and he's yeah, you know, doing the popular thing, which is to go out and talk to people and whatnot. Yeah, well at the end of the day, obviously people are gonna respect him for doing that. Um people are gonna love the fact that they still have a president who doesn't sit in the White House and sits behind a comfy chair and shiny desk and ignores them. Yeah. Um yeah, he doesn't sit in his ivory tower, you know? Yeah. Literally the ivory tower. It's you know, it's He's actually among them and face to face with them. So yeah, I, I I'm not surprised that he's getting more and more popular. To be honest, but apparently MSNBC I mean, it's is a little bit dangerous. It's a little bit dangerous considering the left and how fanatical they are. But <laughs> I'm sure the Secret Service can handle it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you must admit it would be funny if the the Secret Service, as Trump, is like, okay, guys. Now, I want to keep doing my speaking tours and speaking engagement to bypass the mainstream fake news. And Secret Service would just be like, what? Say that again? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you want to do what? Yeah. <laughs> you, you're the president Secret of the Service would have looked at each other. The Secret Service would just look at each other and go, oh, it was easier with Obama. <laughs> yeah. He never went anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, Secret <laughs> Service. I wonder how many are leftists are trying to kill uh, kill Trump this weekend. But oh, yeah. they'd be earning their pay. Well, that's true. Uh, let's keep going. So, um, so he defies political gravity. He continues. So, what he is right when he is basically saying he can't walk down Fifth Avenue and shoot people, and people would still stand with him. What? Say that again. So he is right when he basically says he can't walk down Fifth Avenue and shoot people and people would still stand with him. Us coast Chrissy Chrissy Hunt? Chrissy Hunt? That was an old quote, wasn't it? Yeah. What, what yeah, was that's that quote? Really old. What's that quote? Oh, that's from the election. Yeah. yeah. What was that? Was this... he basically saying he could walk down Fifth Avenue and shoot people or not shoot people? I, I think I I think it was he could Walk down Fifth Avenue, shoot people, and he'd still have supporters. I, no, okay. I, don't, I don't know if that's fake news. It might be fake no. news, honestly. That yeah, did happen. I, I remember that. He actually said that. Uh, what? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, 
obviously not the best thing for someone to say when they're polling, but you know, according to the poll, President Trump's approval rating was was up one point from last last month of June at forty five percent. Eighty eight percent of Republicans surveyed approval of the job the president is doing. There's a there's no surprise there. President Donald Trump's approval rating edged higher during the week in which he faced weathering criticisms following a summit with Russian Vladimir Putin. Signals that he's positioned to weather the last controversy sparked by his universal brand of politics, the general said. The survey was conducted from the July 2015, uh, sorry, July 15 to July 19, a day before the president's highest criticized press conference with Russian Vladimir Putin. Okay, so this is obviously the important thing. The fact is, is that these polls were done when the press conference hadn't even kicked off yet. So the survey was conducted mm. from the, a day before the president. So you had the Ju uh, July 15th and July 16th. Uh, July 16th would have been the press conference. And then you would have had 17, 18, and 19. So you had three days, really. Um, I, I would not take any stock in these these results um, because I don't think this actually is affected by the actual summit. Um, so I would say this is a little bit of fake news from the Daily Caller, but let's just keep going. Um, but it's uh, it spanned past the length of the controversy. While the president received a heavy backlash for his comments, it was clearly not reflected in the approval ratings. I would say to that is the fact that we don't know because it takes time for the stuff to filter through to polls. Um, what are your thoughts, guys? I think Sounds like that it was a little people angsty. knew that it was a joke. Sorry? They know it's a joke. They know it's a joke and it's not going to filter through the polls. Uh, no, no, sorry. I was talking about the, um, about the, they were talking about the Russia post, the Russia part. Um, they say that the Russia Trump summit didn't affect the polls, but the thing is that the polls. Well, were ran a day before the day of the poll or it was also ran on the day of the summit and then three days after the summit. So I don't think the effects of the summit, whether it be good or bad, were reflected in the actual poll. I don't, I don't think it, well, yeah, I don't think that's going to matter either no. way. Um, yeah. Just for the record, I'm not saying that the, the summit's going to affect his polls. I'm just saying that, when they turn around and say that his approval rating is the highest ever and then start linking it to this Russia meeting with Putin, I think that's a little bit of fake news because I don't think this meeting with yeah. Putin is reflected in these poll results yet. Yeah, I well, imagine maybe so. not, but I, I hmm. doubt that the Red Scare is even still a thing, to True. be honest. True. I don't, I, I don't have a problem with Putin... Russia and the Trump and the US getting along. I really don't. They're a superpower. Yeah. We need to get along with superpowers. I don't see yeah. why people would have an issue with it other than, oh no, Russia. Damn you, Trump. It's the, it's the Cold War mentality, really, but apart from that, yeah, yeah. I totally agree. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you think that the Red Scare is still a thing? Do you think that Trump and Putin and that that the, uh, that meeting and whatnot is going to come back to bite him in his approval ratings? Or do you think that they, they won't affect it? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new, channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.